Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Learning. Today we're going to look at vertebrate animals. As you know, we can classify animals in various ways depending on the characteristics we look at. Today, we're going to look at some animals by the internal structure of their bodies. According to this feature, we can classify them into vertebrate animals, which have an internal skeleton, that means bones, and invertebrate animals, like this worm, which has no backbone, in fact, no bones at all. All vertebrate animals have an internal skeleton made up of bones. Bones are very strong and give bodies their shape. They hold it nice and straight. The spine, the backbone, is made up of a series of articulated pieces of bone called the vertebrae, which allow the body to move in a certain way and be flexible. Vertebrate animals' bodies are divided into the head, the torso and the limbs. Yes the head, the body, and the arms and legs. Some vertebrates are aquatic, like these fish. Others are terrestrial, like this bear. And others fly, like this eagle. Vertebrates can move in many different ways. Walking, jumping, crawling, climbing, and when they have to, running. But sometimes it's not enough. There are also many vertebrate animals that move by flying, like birds and bats. For example, these eagles, which, unfortunately for the fox, are much faster than him. Vertebrates are classified into five groups. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals, like this big howler monkey. Now, let's remember the most important things we've learned about vertebrate animals. Vertebrate animals can be classified into five groups. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Vertebrates have internal skeletons made of bones. The body of this kind of animal is divided into head, torso, and limbs. They move in many ways. Walking, jumping, crawling, flying, climbing, and when they need to, running. So, see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning.